cow wow so I drove in to this I <laughs> I'm speechless look at this look at that head frame and they have this open cut that they just followed up the hillside when I was driving in, there were portals further up, and they just worked their way down. There's tons of old iron, scrap, old timber. I, I knew this was big, but I wasn't, I wasn't expecting this. So this is the one I've been trying to get to since the snow disappeared. And it's, man, all that foundation over there. This is insane. I, I didn't think that there were any of these left or like this up in my area. That open cut is unreal. Massive foundation, huge, huge old wooden head frame. This is crazy. Oh man, you can feel cold air pouring out of that thing. There's snow buried back in there. This is insane. You got timber, some type of structure up there, more timber, another structure would have been up there, but they just followed this vein up the hillside. You've got old timber all around the head frame. You still got metal on the, up on the chute, all the cabling. I'll have to double check on my phone how far in this is, but it was a good, must have been a good 10, 10 miles or more. And you wouldn't be getting you wouldn't be getting in here with anything other than the small vehicle. It's leaning. Wow. Yeah, see you can see the cut just continues on. I don't know if this is gonna do it justice on the camera, but that is that is leaning towards my back right. She's not gonna stay up very much longer. Somebody put a bunch of old bolts and stuff old water troughs still have the piping in there look at all the rubble look at all the metal all this you can tell that's not on the concrete was reinforced with those huge timbers i mean look at look at that one on the corner that is some big old timber right there. Yeah, now you can kind of see it a little. I'm going to try to balance the camera level. But it's definitely leaning towards us and to the right. So I wouldn't think it's going to be up here much longer. But I mean, look at all the these massive pieces. That's all waste rock. And then you've got the smaller stuff further down. But it's just out here so remote. Not too high up. We're about 58, 5,900 feet. So nothing compared to the Colorado mines, but it was definitely a trek getting back in here. Man, there's just cable. There's old metal cable and iron all the way up that thing. When I go back further down the road, I'll try to get footage because basically, or a picture maybe with my phone posted on Instagram or something, but up above this open cut, you could see there were multiple portals where they must have been still chasing that vein just right at the surface. That is some big timber. I'm not going any closer, but <laughs> look at that. You see that? That's the top of the the shaft. 
It's pretty hot today in town, but up here we've gained enough elevation. It's not too bad. I can't get over the cool air pouring out of that open cut. Pretty sure this cut in the foundation is where the big pulley wheel was mounted, because then it would go to this back side and down to raise the hoist. That is unreal. After so many times of trying to get back here to this thing and trying to find it. Look at that, what a cool shot with that open cut in the background. On my way back over to the truck to get the drone. And there's the secondary pad that might have been for maybe a secondary pulley wheel. But I mean, the bolt size on these things are just insane. And right over here, it might not show on camera. I'm not gonna go any closer. All these boards are vertical, so they're obviously supporting, or were supporting the dirt around them. Obviously not a shaft, but something maybe for storage. Big old cabling everywhere. This thing would have had so much cabling. It's another concrete pad right over there. I'm not sure what it would have been off into the trees like this, but. So I'm just walking back the road I came because I thought I saw a little something. Man, some of these old timbers are so cool. Rock work and stuff all over the place. I don't know if it's worth taking the truck down. It's just so quiet. So you can kind of see, I went back a ways on the road. You can kind of see where the open cut ends, but it sure looks like there's workings up above and then obviously might not pick up on camera, but like right above my finger is a some type of tower. It's like everywhere you look is a awesome view. I also passed this section where I wondered if there was something here prior and it's just been filled in. I'm gonna go back towards the head frame and see what else I can find. This video might be a little bit longer than my normal videos because, oh, okay. So you can't really see it, but basically right above my finger, right above the tree, there's an opening. How they got way up there. <laughs> I have uh, no idea because it looks like it just gets steep once you see where the open cut ends. But this is the basically when I was driving, couldn't see the head frame, but I could see the open cut right above where the truck is right now. And I was like, well, this looks promising. This looks like what it might be. Keeping an eye out, no signs of animal scat. And obviously the road is semi traveled, but. You're not traveling it in anything bigger than a Jeep or a side-by-side. -side. So it might be kind of weird angles sometimes as I'm walking, but my main goal is to watch my footing. Obviously, <laughs> hoping to get as much good footage for you guys as I can, but whenever you're out exploring these places, you have to watch where you're going. You have to watch your footing. And sometimes that means that I have to retake a shot or redo a clip or something, but it's not worth it. I mean, prime example is right down here. The point of the nail is down, but you still don't want to trip on that and fall. Another good thing is having good shoes. That way you don't risk stepping onto something. Yeah, we're going to keep exploring. This is cool.
So I was just filming right up there. I originally was going to walk this road because it sure seems well traveled. But I turned around and started going up the hill. And then I was like, it must lead somewhere. That's what it would lead to. <laughs> Well, it is mostly collapsed a bit further in, and there's obviously snow here at the entrance, but the amount and strength of cold air coming from here, that is insane. <laughs> Literally the road that I drove in on is just maybe 50 yards that way. And I know that, again, it doesn't do justice to the scale. So the head frame open cut right up over the tailings here, waste rock pile road coming in up above past the trees and here's this yeah so see there's the road right up there in the past this looks like it had some structure off to the side and this was all a staging area yeah there's tons of old trash cabling but look at that shot lower mine entrance wooden head frame that open cut they followed up the hill yeah, I'm going to be coming back here to explore some more because this is, <laughs> this is way too cool. And you can tell there's, there's tracks, there's tire marks, but there's no trash. So I think the people that come back here are people that know about it. They're not just driving through and it is, it is a ways off the beaten path. I'd say maybe 50 feet from that entrance and I can feel the cool air and the sun's just right above me. What's interesting about this open cut, I'm not a miner by any means. Everything I've learned is just from my local books and history about the area. But what you might be able to tell is on either side, there's the supports, just like how there is right there where it starts, which means at one point over here, all this was covered with earth and then they worked their way in. And I honestly think they worked it out as well. I mean, you can see right up there in the middle that it collapsed, but can't believe it. Right down there, kind of where that dead tree is where my finger's pointing, right down there is where that open entrance is. And I can't tell, there's cold air blowing out of this one. I can't tell how far back that goes. Okay, so the road right down there, the one entrance that was open further down, really good shot of that open cut. So right down here is where I was walking, and all down below here just sure looked like there was a lot of activity. So I carefully, I, just in case, I climbed up and around, and uh, yeah. And that's just open. <laughs> you would drive by and not even see it. Because you obviously your first thing you see is the open cut on the hillside and the head frame. That's, uh, that's deep. Everything's starting to blooper. I didn't fall, but I went down quicker than I wanted. 